But first, it's Weather Trivia Tuesday time. Noelle, I've got a fun one for you today. So what is true about lightning? Is it the width of a thumb and hotter than the sun? Uh, when it strikes a beach, does it create glass? Or can helicopters cause it? Or simply all of these true? I was between A and D. I was kind of going back and forth. And I think that it actually might be D. All of them are so? true. All of those weird things. All right, let's so. see if she's right or not. And she's correct. Go oh Noelle. Gosh. <laughs> Two, we've got a mini meteorologist here. Yes. <laughs> Yes, helicopters can actually cause the opposite charge and create lightning. Also, when lightning strikes the beach, it creates a hollow tube of glass. It's called a fulgurite, and you can look that up too. And also, it's very rare. Keep that in mind. And it is the width of a thumb and, of course, hotter than the sun. That's why it is so dangerous and deadly, and we have some headed our way this evening. So first and foremost, stay hydrated and stay cool. Climbing back to those upper 80s to low 90s. If you're thinking of a beach day today or taking the boat out on Lake Michigan, keep in mind the winds are going to be gusting up to 30 miles per hour. We're going to see those building waves up to nearly 12 feet by this evening. So a small craft advisory will be in place. Also, if you're swimming and you get caught in a rip current, keep in mind that you need to swim parallel to the shoreline to get yourself out of that situation. Trying to fight the currents isn't going to work for you. Also, you're going to need to water that garden every single day this week. Even though we're looking at chances of storms rolling in this evening, we're in a slight risk throughout Appleton and Green Bay for storms to turn severe, where we could see some torrential downpours, some large hail, and of course, some destructive winds. So make sure you stay cool, stay hydrated, and stay safe today.